We're going to hear now from Winifer Rosario, a past Hartford Foundation Scholarship recipient who sat actually in your seat just four short years ago. Uh, Winifer is a 2017 graduate of Providence College where she received her degree in biology. Throughout my four years at Providence College, I was able to successfully complete my coursework, pursue my passions, and be involved in the community. However, I struggled to get there. My first two years were the most challenging. I made it past freshman year with A's and B's, and I believe that sophomore year could not be that different. It was time to take organic chemistry. I was made aware of the difficulty of this course by upperclassmen. I assumed that if I tried hard enough, I would be able to get a good grade, and not just a passing grade. I was wrong. I received a D plus in organic chemistry one. Although it hurt to receive such a low grade, I was determined to do better. I was ready to try harder. In my second semester of sophomore year, I redeemed myself and received a B in organic chemistry too. This served as a valuable learning experience. It is always possible to do more and to go beyond your limits. This challenging incident gave me the push that I needed to pursue my interest. I was determined to make the best out of my college years. And after sophomore year, I got involved in all that I could. Back in high school, I was actively involved with the drama department. And I felt as though coming in as a biology major, I would, not be, I would have to let go of that part of me. It turns out I did not. The first club I joined was PCTV a club created because Providence College does not have a communications department. We had our own channel on campus, as well as a YouTube channel, where we would post funny skits, news concerning the campus, and sports. We would edit, write, and film just about anything. I love being a part of such a collaborative atmosphere. There, I was able to meet people from other majors who shared my passion for the film industry. The second club I joined was BioSociety, a club for biology majors where we focus on being peer mentors as well as providing underclassmen with resources to help them navigate their school year. We had guest speakers, doctors or faculty members talk about their specialty or research. We also planned off-campus trips to science museums and science-related events. I also got to volunteer I served as a translator for Spanish-speaking families at a local high school, working closely with students, parents, and administrators. As a translator, I saw that the issues my own family faced while trying to communicate with people that did not speak Spanish were not unique to us. There are other families, like mine, that have a language barrier that prevents them from obtaining the most accurate information or services. Lastly, I joined a research lab. When I came into college, I was adamant about joining a research lab. I disliked the idea of having to sit in a lab bench and pipette things. I wanted to work with people. However, I had forgotten the fact that there would be other research students there with me. I forgot we would have to share our findings and work together when our experiments did not go as planned to try and find a solution. Sometimes, we would need to help we would need the help of other faculty members from other labs to make sense of our findings. I got to work alongside classmates in an intimate way that beats any teamwork I have ever done in my life. I felt independent and self-sufficient, as well as a part of something that is beyond just working with people. Being a part of a research lab helped me gain communication skills that I did not know I lacked, and it has helped me become a better leader. These experiences helped shape who I want to be and have given me a clearer picture of what I want to continue doing. Without the scholarship, I would not have had the time to be involved in my campus and in the community while maintaining a healthy yet challenging course load. Students, I know you are grateful for the generosity of the donors and the Harford Foundation for Public Giving. You are now launching into an exciting time in your academic life. You too will be able to successfully complete your course load, be involved in the community, and pursue your passions. 
Congratulations.